Hi, today we're going to show you the inside of our camper. We have a Flagstaff E-Pro camper, but some of these solutions and decorating tips probably work for any camper. Um, we'll link the products if we can find them below, but mainly the products are from Target, I shop at Home Goods, um, even the Dollar Tree. Come on inside. So we're going to start it off here in the entryway. And for the entryway, we just did a woven cotton mat that is easy to wash. I just throw it in the washer and it keeps the dirt outside of the camper. Um, right here we have, so when you come inside, I put this 3M hooks for keys. We usually have one hook for just our car keys and one hook for camper keys. Right inside the door here, I have found this bin at Target. It's plastic and it's very durable and it just is a catch-all for our shoes so you're not coming in and taking off your shoes and not falling all over a pile of shoes. And we also keep our ice water in there. So you don't lose track of your remotes inside your camper. We put these sticky Velcro tabs on the remotes and one on the wall so it easily comes off and on and we don't lose our remotes so the bed just came with this nice little comforter I actually use that for like a mattress protector and then I bought um, a pair of sheets at Kohl's that are nice and soft and warm and put that over top so I don't use a mattress protector and then I made this fleece fleece tie blanket for the comforter up here we have the bunks these actually turned out pretty nice um, we just kind of stuff whatever random stuff we want up here um, like our hammock, hats, sunscreen, bug spray, things like that. Down here is where my husband and I keep our clothes. We actually use these storage cubes for our clothes. My husband has one and I have one and they are by Amazon and this is the size large by Amazon Basics. And our kids have one too. They have the smaller sizes and they keep theirs in their bunk. These actually work perfect for even when you're not traveling in your camper. I roll up our clothes and then put um, the week's worth of clothes in here and you'd be surprised of how much clothes you fit in these storage cubes. Right now we just have one, but usually it's two large traveling cubes. Over here in the kitchen area is the pull-out drawer underneath the bench and we keep our kids activities in here we do games and coloring things what we like to play in the camper another good hiding spot for things that you don't use normally or a lot I should say is um, a great spot we keep our toilet paper um, old towels you know you never know when you might have a mess or clean up something outside so we have a couple of old towels all our manuals to our camper and any other just random stuff so this is a huge area for items that you don't use very often we also have a space heater that we keep under here and we have a, um, a standard fan that you could probably fit under here too so it's just a great spot to keep those random things. Um, for our garbage cans, I had a hard time finding a garbage can that fit in the bathroom, which is a small area, or kind of a garbage can that tucks back here. But I found one online, I think it was through Target. Yes, through Target. That fits perfectly back behind the benches. And then, so I just keep a plastic bag in there and multiple plastic bags so we can change them out easily.
and it just slips in there. And then we have just a paper sack here um, for recycling cans, bottles, anything that gets recycled goes in here. And then once we're done camping, we take that out and empty it. Now we're going to come into the kitchen. For the kitchen, I wanted a two, two soap dispenser. And I found this great um, dispenser at Home Goods. Um, this soap dispenser is by Casabella. It came with a sponge. So I use that to clean our dishes. And then one soap dispenser is for dishes and one is for hand and what I did I have a Cricut so I just cut these out on vinyl you know a little hand Mickey hand and silverware and they come out so they're easy to refill you just pop this off put in your dish soap or hand soap and then like that and then when we're traveling I put that just down in the sink there right now um, we have this inside usually this is for outside by the shower to save our gray tank we wash our hands outside sometimes and when I found this little cute dis soap dispenser at Target it attaches to the wall just like that and you use that to wash your hands since this is not a big large cooking countertop I found a cutting board again at home goods that you can cover your sink. I like to have this cutting board here because when we're cooking the stovetop thing is open so there's no counter space besides this little edges here. So we have this here and you can cut on it and it acts as a counter tape, counter space. Over here um, I found this at Ikea. It's just a pole thing and some hooks that go on and even the everything's from Ikea here even the utensils and except the scissors I guess I found at home goods for um, a good great deal you want to have a sturdy kitchen scissors in your camper for all different types of needs inside and out and they're easy to wash and this little pot thing I thought would decorate up the camper a little bit more so this bar from Ikea, I really wanted in here to get it, to give our camper a little homey feel. Um, and since you cannot drill holes into your camper walls, cause they're either too thin or you might hit a wire behind the wall. I decided to use super glue to glue this on the wall. So this bar is permanently on the wall, hopefully forever. While we're traveling, I take this off because this is breakable and I store it above the compartment above our bed. Over at the stove area, we usually have two towels. One is for kitchen hands and one is for bathroom hands. So after you go to the bathroom, you wash your hands using this towel or brushing your teeth or anything with the bathroom. And then this towel is just for kitchen stuff. But I just have the kitchen one here now inside our oven that we can't figure out how to use properly um, we store a bunch of stuff it's like a cabinet so this silicone glove is great for your hot pans and it's small fits in the oven I keep a recipe book with all of our recipes in here I bought um, an oven thermometer to keep track of how hot the stove gets because there's no way of knowing otherwise. So that just hangs on there when you're cooking. I got that from Target. Extra towels and random pot holders. Just random stuff. Um, measuring cups from the Dollar Tree are perfect for your camp. This is actually just a photo book and I printed off on four by six note cards of our recipes. Underneath the stove is this cupboard here and I keep our iron pans. We have a big flat one. We use this one the most because we cook quesadillas on it. And then we have a 
old pot that got scuffed up. So we use it in our camper now. And we also have this deep dish um, lodge cast iron pan under here. I got both of these lodge pans at Home Goods for a great deal. They're half the price as what they would be in a camping store or even at Target. Um, a little aluminum foil and a bug candle. So below our sink is this little um, pull out cabinet and inside we have this handy dandy screwdriver. If you want to know about more tools of our camper check out our channel and we have videos about the tools of our camper and usually I carry chip clips in here. Here's our silverware drawer and we just use plastic silverware. I know it's not the best for the environment but it's easy when you're camping you just throw them out. Some straws, Cousinart pizza roller, got it home goods for a great deal. Um, Another great deal at Home Goods was uh, our can opener, lighters, some tape, spoons, ice cream scoop for a dollar. I got these at the dollar store. These are just a handy tool for flipping things, and they're small. For when we wash our dishes, I found this great drying mat at the dollar store. They had a great um, tropical theme this year. So we picked up one of these or you can just have it this way and it would be green. Um, and I got this um, expandable dish rack at Home Goods for half the price of what it would be online. And it's great because it has holes at the bottom. And for what, when you have plates, you can, they'll stand up. And if you want to wash your silverware, the silverware will go in there. Going up to our top cupboards here, got to bring a little Disney to our travels. So we have our Walt Disney World mugs. We have our dollar store bowls, um, two other cups and a water bottle. And then I had my dad make us this little handy Dixie cup holder. So then they wouldn't tip over in our camper. And we like to have these paper cups. Then it's less dishes. Over here is where we keep our plates and our napkins and all our bonfire stuff. So we got this great tin bucket for Christmas one year. And we keep all our s'mores in here. And we also use it to travel to outside with all our food. So. We have like ketchup and plates and it's just a great bucket to take it and take it outside. So that easily fits in here. That's from Target. And then uh, for a storage solution for our plates so they wouldn't take up a ton of space. Um, I bought these napkin holders from the dollar store to hold and organize the plates and napkins. These plates are from the Dollar Tree and you just take and put your paper plate over top of them and it gives the paper plate more sturdy, keeps the plates more sturdy. So I don't have a lot of storage advice for our fridge. It's pretty s small and standard camper fridge but one thing I did buy to tell what the temperature was inside is this thermometer. Um, the thermometer just hangs right inside here easily and then you can tell how temperature and I take it off when we're traveling so it doesn't fall off. When you're done with your camper and to um, empty it out we use the bucket to defrost the freezer. We just keep that open. Um, these silicone ice cube trays make great ice cubes and they're easy to get out. I don't have any food in our pantry right now, but um, we keep the paper plates and the silverware, paper towels, anything like that on the top. I also choose to put the chips up there and buns. So that's the top shelf. The bottom shelf, we usually keep um, drinks and any other dry goods. And I like to use these plastic 
lemonade containers. I got these at Home Goods too. I have two different sizes. One could be for water, one for lemonade or milk, juice, whatever. We buy the big packs of lemonade at Menards. Down here, I bought these big um, plastic containers from the Dollar Tree. And the one, at th this big one in the back, keeps paper towels, vinegar and water, which is a great antibacterial. So you're cleaning out your sink, your toilets, whatever. Some dust rags, Lysol wipes. And I also like to keep plastic bags for, you know, leftovers or these cheap little plastic containers from the Dollar Tree for leftovers too. I also have another one that's usually here and it just has snacks. And we have a tin foil. And um, got this nice tablecloth from Target. So this is the dish drainer and it folds down and I keep it along here, so it nicely stores down there. This cabinet down here, my son keeps his first aid kit, a little portable fan, portable pillows, and portable lamps. So this area I have not decorated yet because I'm trying to find the right piece of decoration that I want. I think I want something that says something about traveling and maybe like photos that hang here um but to hang that i'm not gonna super glue it to the wall or use nails i'm going to use these damage free command three strips and these strips hold up to 16 pounds and you can remove them um at any time so for the bunks um, the kids have these little containers and they're hung by those command strips to Velcro command strips and they just put just random stuff in there. There, you gotta press down and then it will stay. Underneath the bunk is where my son keeps his clothes bag and it just fits nicely right underneath the bunk there. And then we have these two totes that fit nice, perfectly underneath the bunk. And what we use these two totes for is to store more old towels. Or like when we're packing up the camper, we take these out, there's two of them, and we fill them up with whatever we wanna bring into the camper. So all the food comes in, refrigerator, and we fill up the fridge. And so we just kind of use these totes to go back and forth to our house to either fill up the camper or unload the camper. And then while you're camping, they're empty, or you can fill them up with more or keep them as storage. They're easy to fit and they fit perfectly under here. So to clean our floors, I um, brought the Swiffer. It's collapsible comes in three different parts and easily stores down here and then i bought the dollar store wet cloths to use on them because they're cheaper and they work just the same as the swiffer brand i'd eventually like to get a hand vac to use in the camper for the floor so on the bathroom door i put these two large um hooks um for sweatshirts or coats and they're sturdy enough to hang here on the bathroom door. And then right inside the bathroom door here is this handy dandy towel and rack holder over the door. I bought this online at Target and it's perfect for our family because there's four hooks. Everybody has their hooks. And for washcloths, I sewed on ribbons. So we know whose washcloth is whose. So we also bought these turban twist hair towels for the girls. So then you don't have to carry around another or haul around another towel for your hair. They're easy and they hook up here. Up here is a nice little bin for when you're changing. You can put your clean clothes up there and so that you don't have to put them on the floor in the bathroom. Coming into the bathroom here, 
um, is our towel, toilet paper. How it works is we like to store it like this. So when you're not in your camper, you go like this. And then you go like that. Um, right there. It can also use as a doorstop for the bathroom. So you can keep multiple rolls on there at one time. In the bathroom, we have this nice shelf here and I just keep some Kleenex, some room spray and some hand sanitizer on here. And when you are traveling, you obviously keep it in the cupboard here. So up here we have our towels. They fit, four towels fit nicely up here if you roll them. So I just fold it in half or you can even roll them up and they fit nicely up there. Now to keep our bathroom stuff, I have this tote from Target that I found and it's just random stuff. Q-tips, um, aloe vera, lotions, medicines. Um, so it's just a nice big tote to keep all your bathroom and medical needs in there. So for each person in our family, we have these smaller totes. It's the same brand as the bigger one from Target. And inside we have our toothbrushes, our deodorant, whatever we need. And pro tip is to label them so you know who's is whose. So each of ours is labeled um, using a Cricut vinyl. I had a hard time finding a shower mat that fit nicely in our camper, but I found one at Ikea that easily fits on the floor for the shower. Also inside the shower, when we're not using it, we keep this nice pop-up um, hamper. And it just pops up like this. It's from Target. I found it on clearance. And so when, when we're using the shower, we just take it and put it outside the door there. But it stores easily in the shower. A lot of times the water does not go all the way down in the shower so I use the Dollar Tree um, squeegee to get all the water down into the drain so then it dries out. For the shower I like to use traveling um, shampoos, conditioners, and body soaps or if you have extra leftover from hotels um, your camper is a perfect um, way to use up those little body washes and shampoos. We discovered that the fridge is not magnet, um, so we can't put any cool magnets on here, but I did find this little suction cup um, vase. It sticks at a craft fair, but I'm sure that you could make it easily with a little bottle suction cup and fancy it up with some wire. And every time we travel, I like to find some wildflowers and put in there. So it's a nice little decoration for our refrigerator. We hope you liked this video and hopefully you found some storage or decorating tips from the video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you get notification about other videos that might be of interest to you.